So I give you one more chance. Is it an, anyone who really want to sing in front of us? Anyone? <laughs> I'll give you the last one. The last chance. Anyone? And dance together, maybe dance. <laughs> Nebil and Judy. Nebil, Judy. Okay. And Tess. And John and and John and in a barrel. John. Ah, uh, John. John is amazing. He is ninety. Can we hear your daughter and your wife singing a song? I'll oh, sing a song. So, Joy and where's Joy? And Joy and Esther. You're gonna sing together. And then, can I ask you, you play keyboard? Is okay. Where's Joy? Joy to the wall. At home? No? At home? Oh, you can sing. You know. Thanks for amazing your love for us, unfailing love, unconditional love for us. Thanks for your crucifixion, and resurrection for us. Thank you, Lord. Because you are amazing, God. You are the Lord, you are the most high, you are the friend. You may bless us all together yes. as one body to grow spiritually Thank you. for your glory, Father. Yes, we really want to glorify you with your love, Father. Thanks for today, thanks for time, thanks for the weather, thanks for everything, thanks for people. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you, Church. You know that can't hurst can hurst and, and also she's the same name as your wife okay so esther. <laughs> uh, esther esther okay there are many esther many david in the world <laughs> previous <laughs> college seven david in there so, yeah. anyway thank you for coming so hopefully maybe you can join next next year as well how was it today yeah it was, yeah. yeah it's yeah. good yeah. yeah thank you Thank you, God. Thank you, the Lord. Because you know that now is time to pray. Rain, okay? Rain. <laughs> Mary, you can pray, okay? Thanks for you doing your performance. It was great, excellent. Thank you, thank you. And also, really want to thanks to you know that uh, you know that who is cooking for us today. Emily, where is Emily? Thank you for the beautiful. Emily food. size, maybe. Okay, thank you, Emily. Thank you, Emily. And Chris. Oh, thank you, Chris. Chris, could you stand up, please? So could you big you know clap to you, and Chris? Thank you. And, and then maybe Kim, you know, Vietnamese church, Kim, you help, right? Kim. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So, yeah, would you like to stand? So, thank you. And others. And also today, sound team. So, for those who don't know me, my name is Dave. I'm a pastor in uh, Chesil Baptist Church. Very welcome. Especially welcome to the you know, Arabic church and Arabic Christian church, right? And it's a and Vietnamese church. And the name of the church is Church of Hope. Thank you. And then Jesse Baptist Church. And another church is coming today. Came today. Uh, the name of the church is Kent. Oh. Yeah, Kent Hurst. Yeah, Kent Hurst is in the United Church. Thank you for coming today. And the full church. And also, is there anyone who come here because of flyers? We gave a flyer at train station and we gave, you know, that we just you know, put in a letter box. Anyone who come from that flyer? No, no? Yeah, maybe it's coming here. Yeah. So someone promised me, oh, David, I'm coming, I'm coming, yeah? So hopefully they come. And also, Pastor Gabby and I pray a lot today. It was rainy, you know that? When you eat, yes. uh, when you ate inside, yeah. it was rainy. And then Gabby and then, you know, and the pastor, all pastor pray, okay? And then now it's a, oh, dear Lord, please hold one hour, 30 minutes. I was holding, yeah? Hallelujah. After one hour, 30 minutes, it rained heavily, yeah? I'm not lying, okay? <laughs> okay, people, we're gonna start. Let's pray. Let me pray and then we're gonna start. Heavenly Father, thanks for today. Thanks for Christmas Carol in Chesley Back uh, at Church Banya. For church together and neighbor came and to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. We just want to know the meaning of Christmas. What is the meaning of Christmas? Yes. Meaning of Christmas is celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ who came to this world to save us, rescue us from darkness and sadness. Thank you for your unfailing love. We're going to start now, please, with for our Christmas carol service. We glorify you. You are the Lord, you are the Messiah. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, now I want to introduce you know that uh, good guy, you know that MC, master of ceremony. So his name is Onado Davy. I want to say I want to hand over you. Yeah, you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Ha, uh, and then Pastor David. If you have time, please pray for us. And then three church work together. We are one body in Jesus Christ. Could you be, uh, be you know, give a big, you know, the clap for uh, to your pastor? Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, welcome to Christmas Carol today. Uh, um, let me say a bit about this uh, meaning of Christmas very quickly. It uh, won't be long. Five minutes. Okay. Quick summer. So when I worked at uh, Orwell's as a cashier a uh, long time ago, I met about 200 people at the time. At the time, I asked them, what do you think of a Christmas? What does Christmas mean to you? And then many people answered me, about 200 people answered me. Most, majority of the answer was, can you guess? Santa Claus. Yeah, present is next one. Oh, yeah. Santa Claus is coming to us. Especially children, why? They answer me, oh, Santa Claus is number one. And second answer was 20 person was present and gift. Have got gift now? Not now, why? Right? Many children are waiting for a Christmas gift on Christmas Day. And third answer was family gathering. Family gathering. There is no answer what I want. There was no answer given about the real meaning of Christmas as presented in the Bible. As we gather on Christmas carol, I want to ask you, I really want to ask you, what does Christmas mean to you? For some, Christmas might mean Santa. For others, Christmas might mean shopping. Yeah? Everybody likes shopping, but yeah. For others, it means family gathering and good time together. For many, Christmas means Decoration. Can you see that? Decoration? Decoration here. You know, when you see that, you know, when it's dark, maybe after 8 p.m., please walk around here. It's beautiful. We, this, we, we you know, decorated solar light here, so you can walk around here. I recommend you. But what does Christmas mean to you? Real meaning of Christmas. What does the Bible say about Christmas? According to Luke chapter 2, verse 10 to 11, but the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I'll bring you goodness of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The angel summarized the real meaning of Christmas. The Bible says the real meaning of Christmas is to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ who came to this world to save us, rescue us from darkness. So, dear brothers and sisters, Jesus, only Jesus gave us real joy, great joy, and the good news. So, during your Christmas season, you know, you can um, think about real meaning of Christmas. God bless you, sing together today. Really appreciate your coming today, and enjoy uh, listening and singing, or, you know, Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thanks for today. Thanks for the beautiful time, beautiful weather, beautiful people together. For all church to gather together to worship you, look at you, listen to your voice of the Holy Spirit. When Margaret said, so we, she, when I listened to her, so Holy Spirit will in us, dwell in us, and we are listening. We are praising, we are asking in the name of Jesus. Let us under, please help us understand the meaning of Christmas. The meaning of Christmas is to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ who came to this world to save us, rescue us from the sin darkness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your unfailing love. Amazing love. We, we want to praise you. It's just amazing. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.